welcome, welcome, welcome. So I just removed the hair from my arms using a natural homemade remedy. If you're stuck at home and you normally go get yourself waxed or shave or tweeze or laser, whatever it is that you normally do to remove your unwanted hair, and you cannot get it done anymore, guess what? I have a remedy that you can actually try at home that is super effective. Now this remedy I made out of natural ingredient. Natural ingredient, that is not going to irritate the skin or anything like that, but just going to remove the hair. Another amazing thing about this remedy is that most of the ingredients that I'm using are known to be hair inhibitor. Hair inhibitor meaning that the hair is going to take much longer to grow back. Also the ingredients are nourishing to the skin. They they can help to lighten and brighten the skin and leave the skin just with a smooth natural glow so if you're looking for a quick and easy homemade hair remover that's gonna get the job done that is very very effective and pretty easy to make follow me to the kitchen and I'll show you how to whip this up I will also show you how to use it on your skin for best result Our first ingredient is lemon, and lemon juice is rich in citric acid, calcium, magnesium, and vitamin C, as well as antioxidants such as peptin and flavonoid. Lemon will help to get rid of your hair when mixed with the other ingredient. I'm also using lemon in this recipe as a hair inhibitor, meaning that it's going to slow the process of the hair growth down when you get rid of it from your skin. Now we are going to be just cutting the lemon in two halves and then I'm going to juice the lemon. Right now I'm trying to get about three tablespoons of the lemon juice so just squeeze your lemon and this one is juicy so this is really good to use for this recipe. Now that the lemon is out of the way let's put it aside and introduce the other ingredient. Our next ingredient is a pineapple and today I'm using a nice chunk around about three ounces of fresh pineapple. For this recipe you can also choose to use pineapple juice. Now pineapple is great for the skin overall. It can help to lighten and brighten the skin. However, when it comes on to ear removal, pineapple contain an enzyme called brenaline and this is going to help to slow the process of the ear growth down. This will also going to help to soften the ear for an easier hair removal. So the first thing I'm going to do with the pineapple, I'm going to be blending. I have a small blender, so I'm going to be chopping it in small pieces. And after chopping, I'm going to add the pineapple to the blender along with the lemon juice. So about three ounces of pineapple chopped with about three tablespoons of lemon juice. And now I'm going to place this on the blender and I'm going to blend. So we're blending pineapple juice and lemon juice. So take a look at this. This is the blended pineapple juice. And now let's move on to our next ingredient, which is a brown sugar. And today we're using brown sugar for its sticky property. This is what's going to help to stick on the hair for easier hair removal. So I'm going to be using about three tablespoons of the brown sugar give and take. The brown sugar also contains glycolic acid, which is going to help to brighten the skin. However, when you mix that berline with the glycolic acid, the reaction of that is what is going to help to soften the hair for easier hair removal. So now we're going to put all our ingredients together. We have our lemon juice. We also have our pineapple puree and we have our brown sugar. So at this stage guys you are going to need a small saucepan since we're going to be boiling. So I'm going to use my three tablespoons of brown sugar. If you do not have brown sugar for this recipe, you can go ahead and use uh, some white sugar. And then I'm going to place it on the stove top with low flame. 
Next, I'm going to take about a quarter cup of the pineapple lemon juice, and I'm going to pour this in. If you're using box pineapple juice, go ahead and use the same amount. Now, once I pour my pineapple juice on my sugar, I'm going to start to stir. You need to start stirring before this start to boil. So keep stirring because you really do not want it to stick at the bottom of the saucepan. So keep stirring until it started to boil. Once it start boiling, this is what it's going to look like. It's going to look foamy and this is exactly how you need it to be. Continue to stir until it start drying out. And take a look at this. This is how you want it to look. You definitely will start to see that it's getting sticky and that's okay. So keep stirring. And now look at this. This is what it's looked like and this is ready to take off. So once you take this off, immediately pour this into a container. And now once you pour this in a container, take a look at it. This is what it should look like up close. You can also choose to add a little vegetable glycerine in this, which is going to help to preserve it much longer. Therefore, you could have it in your refrigerator for up to two weeks or so. Now you're going to let this cool guys. You cannot use this directly on your skin. You will have to set it aside to cool. Now when it started to cool, it's going to look more gummy and take a look at what I'm showing here. This is how it's going to look. And once it look like this, now you know that it is ready. So to remove your hair, you're going to take a spoon, preferably a wooden spoon like I'm showing here. And you're going to take a little bit of the ear remover paste. Make sure to test it before you apply it on your skin. And then you are going to paste it on your skin like I'm showing here. This is very, very sticky and this is exactly how you want it to be. And then guys, you are going to take a piece of cloth, a cotton cloth or cheese cloth or any thin cloth that you have. Put it on the paste, press it down like I'm showing here. And once this is done, you are going to quickly remove it. And there you have it. That is how you're going to get rid of your hair. Now you can choose to use this on anywhere that you want to remove your hair. You can use it on your chin. You can use it on the side of your face. You can use it on your legs. You can use it on your armpit. Just use it anywhere. Now guys, when you put this wax away, it's going to harden a little. In case you need to reuse it, just warm it and let it cool again and now it's ready to use. This can be kept in your refrigerator for up to 10 to 15 days. It's not gonna go bad, okay? All right, so remove your hair as often as you wish or as fast as they grow back and there you have it, your natural homemade hair remover. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share the video. Leave your comments. Those are also welcome. And if this was your first time watching, you want to see more of these videos, look below. You're going to see the word subscribe. Just click on it and you will be subscribed. Also, there's a little bell. If you click on that little bell, you will get a notification as soon as I upload the video. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.